guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to run AI models locally and entirely offline using Jellybox. In a previous video I showed you how to use Pinocchio to install AI models and I think Jellybox is even easier to try to run LLMs and also image generation models. Uh, there's also LM Studio which is a bit similar. There are multiple of these uh, options which you can install on, on a Windows machine or a Mac or a Linux machine. Uh, Chillybox supports Mac with the silicon from Apple, the M1, M2 and M3. And also for Windows it supports Nvidia and AMD GPUs. Having a GPU makes running the AI models quite a bit faster. This laptop has 4 gigabytes of VRAM on, on the Nvidia GPU. It also has 32 gigabytes of RAM for, for, for the CPU. Uh, so just go ahead and install the, or download first the installer, then run the setup. It's very straightforward. Uh, it will give a pop up on Windows machi machines that uh, you need to accept it because it's a non known source for, for Microsoft. So, anyhow, go ahead and install it. And then you will be able to open up Chillybox and here on the home screen um, or if you go under downloads you, you wouldn't have any models to start with. I have already downloaded three. But I'll, I'll show you how to go through those steps. So under language models, um, under models you can like sort based on likes the models have received. So these are models from Hugging Face. Hugging Face is kind of the kind of a github of AI models. So people share the AI models there. Also the larger companies like Meta have shared their open weights llama models there. Or you can sort by downloads to to find things which well, many people have downloaded. And then you can also search for models. So for example, uh, if you would like to try the Llama uh, model from Meta. You could, for example, take this one, which has been very popular, and then you would need to choose um, the first thing here is the you know, on the hugging face. It's the name of the publisher, and then it's followed by the model name and if you if you click here on model card you will go to hugging face where you can read more about the model but what you, you need to know is that for a lower power laptop or commercial uh, consumer grade machine most likely will want one of the 8b models 8 billion parameter models the 405 billion parameter models these are a lot larger and they wouldn't fit on my machine RAM, the eight billion parameter models. Um, the well, Meta has published the Safe Tensor. I think the Safe Tensor's version of these. They are also a bit larger. But if you take one of these quantized models, which are kind of compressed, but you lose some quality and accuracy. So um, you can read on the model page. There is more information about about the different sizes but if you just want to try one uh, go ahead and click download to to get one so i have downloaded the uh, q2 model for this one and a q3 version for the mistral so let's go ahead and try the mistral model first so this download size was 3.56 gigabytes so to do that we will go into library and we press on plus, we, we can choose the model. So let's choose Mistral. And let's call this Mistral so then it's easier to remember which was which. The You can change the settings, but the defaults here are fine. So let's press on play. And now it will be loading the model. So first we downloaded the model to disk, but now it loaded the model into, uh, into memory. 
So here, if you look in the task manager in Windows under GPU one, which is the GeForce uh, GPU, you can see there's four gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory and 3.7 is now used and we see a spike in the memory usage. So it was loading the model into memory, but we also see a spike in the in the RAM uh, for usage for the CPU. Some, some of it went to the RAM because it didn't fully fit into the GPU memory. And now if we ask it, for example, uh, what are you? Most likely the first run will take a bit longer. No, actually it was quite fast on giving a response. And we, we can see that there should be a, a spike in the in the GPU usage when it's generating. So can you create can you create me a poem? And when it's doing that, oh, we, we do see increased GPU usage for the runtime and also CPU usage since it's part, partly using that as well. So let's give still a prompt. Who was the president of France in 1999? And it's saying Jacques Chirac. I guess that's correct. We can also see here uh, some stats. So tokens per second, 10. So that's kind of 10 characters per second. So I guess that's, that's fairly fast. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and try the other LLM. So this was Mistral and we can go ahead and create a second form for the Meta Llama model. And let's call this Llama. And let's create version play. Now it's loading the model. And I think what it did is it dropped the other model from memory and loading this one into memory now. I'm hoping at least did that. Okay, it's I guess loading again. I'm looking at the memory stats here. It's 0.6, so it seems to be having some trouble. Okay, I'll just uh, close the app from the X here and restart it to see if, if that works better. You, you also need to note that if you just go beyond the limits of your machine, it won't really prevent you from trying. It will try to load a larger model and try to load some like 20 gigabyte model into memory and just uh, gave some memory error. So that can also happen. So let's try to go to Llama again and see if it works this time. Okay, it's loading the Mistral model just fine, but it's having trouble loading that Llama model. So I'm um, not quite sure what's going on there. Okay, it seems it's a bit trial and error with the models here. I downloaded a different Llama 3.1 model and it fails to load this as well. I think Jellybox kind of a nice idea, nice concept, but that doesn't really do a very good job of indicating what goes wrong. So yeah, it's seems like a nice tool and at least the Mistral model worked here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.